Hey, so I get a lot of very kind comments about the audiogram videos that we post on our Instagram. So I thought that I could just make a video showing how I do it. There are a lot of free apps you can use to do it, like Headliner and things like that. But if you're like me and you're a little more particular about how things look, especially because the headliner app is pretty limited as far as fonts go and different styles. So I prefer to use Premiere Pro. As far as the captions go, I use like an automated transcription tool for these like short little clips. So basically I choose a clip from the episode that I want to use and upload it into Sonic's AI is the one that I'm using. There are a lot of different ones that are free or paid. This one, you get 30 minutes of free transcription with the free trial. And so you can make a lot of audiograms with 30 minutes of free transcription. So, I mean, I've been using it for over a month. And I, as you can see, I still have four minutes remaining. And most of our audiogram videos are under 30 seconds. So, so that 30 minutes goes a long way. But anyway, I will upload the clip into Sonics or whatever transcribing tool I'm using. And then once it's uploaded, you go through and just correct it. And then I usually just add spaces between, like if you see, if I do this, you can see it was originally like one block of text and then I just added spaces because I like my captions to be a little bit shorter. And, and then of course you can edit that in Premiere Pro also, which I'm gonna do. But once you've transcribed it and it's all ready to go, then you just, export it and I choose subrip subtitle file and then you get some options hide speaker names keep caps in a single line I usually do split over two lines and then depending on how it looks in the frame I will make adjustments in Premiere Pro the settings for this is usually about 70 character lengths per caption this was originally set to 10 but I changed it to 8 but I think I'm actually going to change it to 6 for this one and then you just download your SRT file. And then I will just open up my project file in Premiere Pro and start by throwing in the audio file that I want to use, which is this one right here. And then once I've done that, go over to my downloads and little Xan SRT is the file. And then you can see your captions are there. So yeah, I just go through and I watch it really quickly and make sure that everything is where I want it to be. It looks like with this one, I actually, all of the captions are the exact length that I want them to be. So that's great. And then, and then in the captions panel, you just select the file and you can see all of your captions. And then from there, you can make adjustments like I will select all of them and then center them. And then you can change the color, the font, all of that. And then from there, you'll just want to add your background, whatever it might be. So I already had mine made up in Adobe Illustrator and just extend it to the length of the clip. Oh, also the video, I have it. My preferences were saved in Premiere Pro as, um, as being 1080 by 1080. And to do that, you would just go into the sequence settings and change that if it's not. Um, and then if you're doing like an Instagram story, you would just change those settings and then adjust your photo accordingly. And then for the text, obviously the light background. So I want to change the color of that. I don't know. I might change this again, but for now I'm just going to make it pink. And so from there, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You would just go through and edit your captions if you need to and do different backgrounds and such, but it's really simple. And then one more thing I should also mention is if you need to adjust the times on your captions, you can just click on the time in and time out and change them and add new ones if you want to, because sometimes just for like comedic effect, I guess you could say, uh, you want to like split them up more so that like the punchline isn't visible before it comes, I guess. I don't need to do that in this case, but if you do, you can type it in there or you can expand your timeline here and then you can just like physically move these like with this little guy here. 
yeah, so same way you would drag and extend any other part of your video. You can do the same thing with these if that's easier. And but sometimes I find that it just depends on the situation, I guess, but sometimes it's easier to just like type it in here. And so once you're done, I mean, this one I'm probably going to make more tweaks too, but for the sake of me just showing you, um, this is pretty much the final product. And then when you export it for Instagram, if you've never used Premiere Pro before, I do this setting, H, H.264. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> uh, and then match source is fine, but it really doesn't matter. And then the only other setting that really matters is I do maximum render depth and and then for captions, make sure that this setting is selected, burn captions into video, because if you don't, it will, like, for instance, if you're making a video for YouTube, it would put the captions on the video and then they wouldn't be visible to the viewer unless they selected closed captioning. So you want to make sure that you click burn captions into video, then use maximum render quality and that's how I export it. And then from there you have a video that's ready for Instagram. Dude, Nigerian SoundCloud rappers is going to be the new wave. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, imagine, like, your mom being like, oh, yeah, I'm dating a Nigerian SoundCloud rapper. Like, imagine your mom dating a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah. It's like your mom comes home and is like, oh, I'm dating little Zan. Haha, <laughs> your new dad. I'm going to go to his house and suck his toes. <laughs> I can't with that.